children today we are going to discuss about the processing of fibers into wool we know that the wool fibers the wool we are getting from the fleece of wool yielding animal wool is actually a finished product and which is ready to use product and that can be used for knitting sweaters socks or weaving into different fabrics so before we are getting the finished product we wool before we are getting the finished product wool there are several steps which are involved to get the fine product called wool so in this particular class in the process of pro processing in the processing of wool there are different steps involved so we are going to see the different steps involved in the processing of wool before going to each step first i will list out which are the different steps involved in the processing of wool the first one is the first step is shearing okay i will explain later first step is shearing next step is scouring next step is scouring then comes sorting okay sorting fourth step is removal of burrs removal of burrs b u r r s removal of burrs then comes dyeing okay dyeing sixth step is sixth step is rolling into yarn rolling and the last step is weaving okay that means before you are going to weave or knit a woolen fabric we have to undergo all this process before you are getting a finished product so these steps we are going to discuss one after the other and the whole steps together we call processing of fibers to wool okay which are the different steps shearing scouring sorting removal of burrs dyeing rolling into yarn and weaving these are the different steps involved in the process processing of fibers into wool come on shearing scouring sorting then removal of burrs then dyeing rolling and finally weaving so first step let us see the first step shearing the first step is shearing the process of removing the fleece from the skin of wool yielding animal is known as shearing okay shearing means the process by which the fleece are removed from the skin of the wool yielding animal how we can remove this see it can be removed just like shaving okay just like shaving a shaving machine or a shaving blade can be used to remove the fleece and before removing we, we must confirm one thing that is it should be removed only during hot season that is summer season why because actually this wool is a protective part of that wool yielding animal and it has to protect its body during severe winter therefore we should not do shearing in winter season in cold season okay by shearing particularly in hot months nothing will happen to the animal because immediately the hairs will grow 
like human beings like our hair okay so what do you mean by shearing shearing is the process of removing or shaving the fleece from the skin of the uh, skin of the wool yielding animal that is called shearing are you clear now let us go to the second step what is second step scouring you know that uh, see the fleece that we got after shearing may contain lot of dust greasy material oily material everything therefore the sheared fleece need to be washed properly with a soap solution this process of cleaning the sheared fleece in a big tank by using soap solution in order to remove the dirt greasy particles oily material etc is known as scouring so simply we can say that scouring is a method of cleaning the sheared fleece after scouring after cleaning the next step of sorting what is the meaning of the word sorting sorting means the separating see the sheared and scored fleece that cleaned fleece contains very long fleece as well as very short fleece thick fleece and thin fleece so based on the texture based on the thickness and length these fleece needs to be classified or separated that process of separating the sheared and scoured fleece based on the texture that means the thickness and their length is known as sorting so sorting is a process of separating the fleece see after that the next step comes removal of burrs what do you mean by burrs burrs means b u r r s burrs means very small fluffy fibers very small fluffy fibers you might have seen in your sweaters and all there are small hair like structures isn't it these small fluffy woolen fibers are called burrs which need to be removed because that small very small fibers cannot be used for what you call uh, knitting and uh, weaving process so very very minute small fluffy fibers need to be removed that is the fourth step after fourth step the next step is dyeing next step is dyeing d y e i n g dyes means you know coloring material the woolen fabrics are available in different colors you will select the beautiful colors isn't it different colors but you know the sheep are available only in three natural colors the sheep are either white or black or brown but you know in the market there are different colors of woolen fabrics are available how it is possible definitely by giving coloring coloring material by dyeing so since the woolen woolen uh, fibers are available only three natural colors and in market the people choose different colors of their interest they have to dye this fleece into various colors so the process of coloring the process of coloring the fleece the woolen fleece by using dyes is known as dyeing so after dyeing you will get uh, the wool of different varieties of colors okay the colors of people's choice that's why they are doing performing dyeing after dyeing the next step is rolling we can imagine the size of the fleece of a sheep isn't it it ma maximum uh, what you call uh, 
वन आर्म लेंथ में बट द वुडन क्लोथ द वुडन यू नो द वुडन ब्लैंकेट्स और वुडन फैब्रिक्स आर वेरी लेंथी सो इन ऑर्डर टू गेट सच ए लेंथी फैब्रिक दीज वूल फाइबर्स नीड टू बी जॉइन टूगेदर टू मेक ए लॉ या ओके वेरी लॉन्ग यार नीड टू बी मेड इन ऑर्डर टू वी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वुडन फैब्रिक्स देर फोर द प्रोसेस ऑफ जॉइनिंग द वुडन फाइबर्स इन ऑर्डर टू गेट वेरी लेंथी यार इज नॉन एज रोलिंग दैट इज कल रोलिंग सो रोलिंग इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ चेंजिंग द वुडन फाइबर्स इन टू वुडन यार्स यार मीन्स वेरी लॉन्ग फाइबर्स ओके and the last step is weaving now you got very beautifully colored neatly cleaned sorted very long yarns and these yarns are woven into different types of fabrics different designs of fabrics by a process called weaving after weaving now the wool woolen fabrics are ready for use okay so these entire steps the seven steps together known as the processing of wool which are the seven steps shearing scouring sorting next removal of burrs then dyeing then comes rolling and lastly weaving okay these are the different steps involved in the processing of woolen fibers into woolen clothes or wool are it clear okay